So let's talk about breakfast. I recommend keeping the morning meal light. It'll leave you energized and ready to begin the day. My typical breakfast is a large glass of green juice or a fruit smoothie. This is usually enough for me until noon, but if I get hungry a little bit later, I'll have a piece of fruit or a small handful of nuts, such as almonds. Fruit is the simplest breakfast you can make. You might have a bowl of berries or a juicy mango or a grapefruit, followed by a half a banana a little bit later if you get hungry again. Smoothies are a delicious way to combine different fruits. My favorite smoothie is orange and berry. It's very easy to make and it tastes delicious. I'm going to be using the blender and I'm just going to combine an orange. I've got it in sections here so it blends easily. I'm going to use a banana. I'm making a large amount because I love smoothies, but you could have what I'm putting in here right now. And I'm going to use some frozen blueberries. Since these blueberries came right out of the freezer, there's no need for me to add ice to the smoothie. It's going to taste frosty. And I'll add just a little bit of water to get it thin to the right consistency. And then I'll go ahead and blend this up. This orange and berry smoothie tastes delicious just as it is. But if you want to take it one step further to get a little more of a nutritional boost, you can add some greens right to the smoothie. Fruits and greens really make ideal breakfast foods because they're so low in calories and sugars and yet rich in nutrients. So I'm going to go ahead and add some kale right to this smoothie. And it might seem strange to be adding kale to a smoothie, uh, but if you think about it, there's so much fruit in here that you're not really going to taste this kale. It might turn the color just a little bit green, but it's still going to taste sweet and fruity. So it's a great way to get more greens into your diet. So I'll go ahead and add, you use about a half cup or so of greens for a single serving of smoothie. I'm gonna put a cup of greens in here. As you get more used to the taste of greens, you can increase the amount. I'm using kale, but you could use different greens. You could use collards, parsley, cilantro, romaine lettuce, celery, any green that you want. And I'll go ahead and blend that in. I can't wait to try this orange and berry kale smoothie. But trust me, you'll barely taste the kale. Mmm, that is so delicious. Green smoothies are a great way to drink your way to five to nine servings of fruits and vegetables each day. You've got to give this one a try.